Honorable Minister of International Development Cooperation of Sweden, the Excellency Ambassador of Sweden to Rwanda, representative of uh, Access to Finance Rwanda and representative of the, of the Ministry of Agriculture, a distinguished guest, uh, members of uh, Korimaru Cooperative, good afternoon. I would like to welcome you in Bugesera district as a district, but more importantly, in this building, our headquarters, in our meeting hall. So you are welcome. So we thank you very much for the support in this uh, scheme, the National Agriculture Insurance Scheme through the Access to Finance Rwanda project. That has been very beneficial for both uh, crops and kettles uh, of our citizens in Bugesera. I don't want to mention about the benefit and everything because beneficiaries are here to give testimony about it. But as a, a district leader, let me mention that we are very much appreciating the support. It's an extreme honor and pleasure to have guests from Sweden uh, in our country. And uh, many thanks to the district mayor to, for the welcome remarks. Also accepting that we come in this district under his leadership. Most importantly, I wanted to thank the farmers. It would have been great for us to be where you are, where you spend all your days uh, growing rice, but unfortunately, climate change is a reality in our lives. We wouldn't have come, but uh, we are so thankful that you came and came that long way to meet with us here so that uh, we also welcome our visitors. This morning I was saying that, uh, I mean, the fact that we can't travel to the field, to the marshland, is, is a true testimony that uh, this project is very important. <laughs> so thank you very much for being part of this program. So I'll briefly talk about this program, uh, uh, the National Agriculture Insurance Scheme. So we saw that uh, climate change was happening across the country and uh, we discussed with the government of Rwanda to set up uh, an agriculture insurance scheme. We didn't know how it would look like, and we decided to start with a feasibility study. So this feasibility study demonstrated that we have not so many perils or, or, or challenges that farmers are facing in different districts, and those were varied. So in some parts you had flooding, like what we had yesterday in this side. Other sides, like Far East, drought. Other parts, uh, strong wind. Uh, you heard of uh, Rurindo recently, the land siding that had blocked even the road to, to that part of, the, of Rwanda. Then we discussed with the government of Rwanda and said there are those risks that can be insured and there's a possibility to set up an insurance scheme. And that's how this program started. And the government has, uh, from then, provided tremendous support. And, and the biggest commitment is really continuous provision of 40% of subsidy to the premium and uh, the smallholder farmers to cover 60%. And above that, really the awareness, education that is being done by the local government is highly appreciated. So as we know, we didn't want to bring a cooperative in this room or visit a cooperative that hasn't experienced the entire cycle. Now, this cooperative here present has paid premium and has received payout. So they have seen the entire cycle, which is quite interesting. So what do we expect from this? We expect a protection for your farms, to protect your livelihood, but also we want to see more investment into the agriculture sector. And we have started seeing that because most of the banks and other investors are requiring that cooperatives and other investors in the in the, in the agriculture sector to provide a proof of an insurance cap, uh, policy from this program. And that's what we need to see as we, we transform uh, the Rwanda's economy. So I want to thank you very much and kindly convey this appreciation to the citizen of Sweden. This support has made a uh, change into the lives of many. You see here uh, uh, just few, but they represent many. So thank you very much for choosing Rwanda for your visit. And we look forward to continued uh, partnership. Thank you very much. As uh, Yat was saying, the climate change is real. Normally, this uh, our period of harvesting 
we cultivate maize in uh, between September and October. Normally, uh, Feb is a time of harvesting. In harvesting, we normally having um, a medium uh, sun so that uh, the maize being matured. So it was surprising us that we have like a heavy rain which started like two, two days ago. So the team was checking on the road that we are passing. You can see the water is uh, above here. So we decided after checking ourselves that we cannot take a risk to take you there. Even if we see um, how it is clouded, we found it to be difficult even a risk to to bring on the field. Uh, normally, uh, our country, we have more than 70% of our population are employed in agriculture. And for the last uh, decade, agriculture is contributing a third of our GDP. So to think about a farmer is to think about the entire country. Uh, and, and we cannot move, as you know, we, we are moved toward it to be a, a middle country economy and we can't go there without this uh, population. Um, according to where our country is located, we are, we are mostly affected by shocks, rather than floods and drought, and uh, diseases. Some, some like three years, five years ago, we have got a big uh, uh, army worm issue where like around 6% of planted maize was affected with the government effort, around 31% of land was uh, 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 habilitated. And if we compare uh, what we spend, whilst we have a drought, like we have a national strategic reserve, because if we are managing the risk, there is a, like a four mechanism, you need to have mitigation, this is what we do like uh, erosion control, you need to have to share risk Why we bring farmers together so that they share all the risks. Also, we need to put in, in place the risk transfer, which is insurance. But we know whatever can happen, then we have a national strategy reserve so that you can even give a quick food once they are waiting to, to cultivate. So, so after putting these numbers together, looking at what we, we spend for food, what we spend once we have those risks. Also, we have another opportunity of transferring this risk to someone who is able to take it. So the government looked this uh, a very important opportunity. So before we, we get partnership with EFA, we get some, um, there were some trials that needed by some non-governmental, some private sector, they tried, but insurance didn't work. Then we get another approach uh, brought by Access to Finance with their expertise uh, worldwide. They bring another approach that agriculture insurance cannot work once the government is not in. They need to be patterned to make sure there is a sustainability because after some feasibility study, the, 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 the results say that farmers don't trust insurance and we need insurance. Then the FRA say that the government have to back insurance and provide an assurance that it is regulated. There is a regulated framework with also the difference that the farmer, not even a farmer, the people trust the government. Whatever government is in, there is a partnership. These things will work. So uh, by this, the FRA with the government say that everybody is going to initiate the put resources to showcase, because with uh, the previous experience that things will not work, then we started with the, the support of access to finance, we worked together for the pilot phase, then with numbers, with the results, then the government convinced itself that when, whenever that effort is not there, the government will take over, because we have seen with the approach, because the main thing that make this six to, have to, to, to succeed is the human-centered approach that was taking place. Farmers say that I want to be insured. These are the, my risks. This is what I want to be insured. This is even the money that I'm able to pay, my, my contribution. Because we got some proposal with other donor 
For us, we are going to give even the premium, the full premium for the farmers. The government said, once the, you are not continuing to, to contribute, what will be happening? Then with this first bit, I said that the farmers are able to contribute this amount. Then the government, once the government put this contribution, we are able to pay the premium. So this is one of the manga, the success, make this to happen. Government have been able to contribute uh, more than 591 million for subsidy. And uh, farmers have been able to get payout around 672 million. This is for crop and the livestock get around uh, 500 million. If I compare the numbers, the government is getting more other than what is investing. Uh, around the 2 billion, uh, 2 billion, 024 million, was unlocked where the crop insurance was a collateral. These are the loan, the, uh, the credit loan that have been able to be given to the farmer through this insurance. On the behalf of the, the direct user ministry, we really recognize the support. We really make, uh, recognize this effort and the professionalism around it. And uh, we are really ready to continue working with access to finance. It is known as financial inclusion. So we will continue to work with them, with other coming projects. So thank you. Have a good time. Nitwa Karasira Mosesirase. Aba ndu muyobozi wa cooperative ihinga umucere mu gishanga cyarurambi. Yira mu bavwire muri make cyo gishanga yo giherereye gishanga cyarurambi giherereye umwenge wa mwogo na juru kikaba ari gishanga gifite ubuso ugera kuri hektari igihumbi ijana na 50 muri zo hektari ziri ibikorwa remezo ibikorwa remezo Ile mimi handa, ile mimi yoboro ya mazi, ni bi indi kituma dusha bora kuhaji la nisa na kuhinga nisa. Tukiyabu tu kwa duhinga kuhusu ungana na ektari magana tana tu na mlingo chenda, izi ndi tisega yeye zihinga mmo imbog. Wimusi duftaba hii nzi bangana ni jihumbi magani na ni nomge, bari mo abagavo jihumbi na mlingo na ni nomge. Naba damu changu saba gore magani lugeni wa kumnyani na watatu. Ijishanga cha tu ngani lugeni kuvamuri yiri na chumi na reeta ya chuo cooperative ya tangu yeye muri yiri na chumi na watatu ni ho ba mazikoji tu ngania haba yeho ukanguru mbaga ba kujirango tu kishire hamu ngi haba hizi chani chani wa hiri yeye kwa nua hinga gamu tu nuto tangu kanya humri cha ijishanga kujirango tu hinge jihingo chime chumuche. Muri ugo hizi mbaga chuo. Kwa jie tu jina mungu kama mizizi na duka nye ziri mungu ibiza hariko ibiza wikome yetu kwa bonye ni chiza chumi nyuzuri kwa jie ze muli bihumbi yuri na chumi numu nani mujihe mge chaka virichi hinga hazimu nyuzuri idasa anzwe kubela iki mitere reji shanga cha chochiri kuburijo wa mungu zure waje umuchari wa achuwa rojie kwera kwa mazeno kujere ranya umusaruro tubo na kutu tawona mungu siya toni bihumbi bitatu Icho jihe wa mchari wa usi waraji ye, umuhi nziwe si wa hinga gawo ya tashe ipumba, sinha kimu na kimu ya saru. Aba hinzi wa chiti nheje, kukwa guhingu mchari, ni ngufu, ishira munga mafranga meshi, aliko turashima uwe wazigu juhu kuchia atugatu wa ihafi, butu teringonga, badu hifumbire, badu himbuto, badu konji la gusubi ramu, turahingu. Aliki jikome ye, nuko badu kanguri ya kuja mugi shinjizi, Kuwe imhamu tukari tu mazikuo na tukai wa imuwa mbere mkuu tabi ugu shingiz. Abahi nzio sse ba bi shingi yeba kuri chijubu saba fite tu yaze mubi humbi vuri nama kumnyaviri nubu undi wa muzure wara garuti. Ugarutse nubu undi umucheriwa sse wara uje kuera wara tu kuawe na na kamge kara kutse ariko kuwe rabga ugi shingiz. Asira nse tu kwa tu kwa na nayo ni radi ante tu shi mina cha nirero abate ramhunga tu kwa wonye access Rwanda. Uvirini maya suede na reta ya chuchane chane idu fasha mkuu ishindira kutoewe tu kuisha mirongo tana tu kuijana reta ya chuo ika kunga nira mirongo ne kuijana hicho jeva tu kuisha baada tu kuisha reero urio muhinzwe siyata cha yishimia na huo mchele waruje yeye 
ariko ubwishingizi bwaratwishye cyo giye batwishye amafaranga angana na miliyoni 194.380 ngira ngo murabibona na hano aha ni sheke baduhaga to icyo gihe batwishyura ubwo bwishingizi byatumye rero byatumye rero abahinzi bacu nkuko baza no kubyivugira dukora ubu ngubu dufite ikizere cyo kweza nigiye tutakweza tukaba tuzi ko bwishingizi uzagira cyo gutumarira bone yoro gushimira leta mu izina ry'abahinzi turi kumwe nabandi bataja nitwanyira ndi kubw'imana mezirida ndi umuhinzi w'umuceri mu gishanga cy'arurambi mu ijwi ry'abagenzi bange turi kumwe babahinzi nabandi basigaye nta kindi cyatuzanya uretse kubashima turabashima cyane leta y'ubumwe eh yatugiriye neza hamwe nabafatanya bikorwa baradufashije kuko nibuka uko bababwiye muri 2018 twahuye n'umuzure umuceri weze twari dufite ikibazo kuko nta bwishingize twari turimo turahomba turazamuka micheri yacu igenda tuyireba yari yeze nta numwe wasaruye twarazamutse turataha shimire minagri na leta y'umwe yacu babonye ko dohombye batugarura n'umutima mwiza kongera guhinga nubwo ntambaraga twari dufite ariko baduha ifumbire n'imbuto kubuntu tutishuye eh 2020 twongeye guhura n'undi muzure duhura nawo twagiye mu bwishingizi biradushimisha cyane ntabwo twabyakiraga ariko tumariye kubona yuko hari mitandukanyirizo ku gihombo cy'ambere n'icyakabiri twarishimye cyane turashimira abayobozi badushishikarije kujya muri asilanse kwagiyemo twumva ko bidashoboka ari kumwuzuruje baratwishyuye turagaruka tugaruka twumva dufite imbaraga kuko twari dufite igishoro ntabwo ari ibyo gusa bishingira byo mwuzure tujya duhinga tugahura n'uburwayi mu miceri ariko iyo bibayeho asiranse iratwishyura niyo haje urubura mu gihe kimvura rukuntu urubura ruza rwa kubita imikeri iyo bigenze bityo asiranse iratwishyura twarishimye cyane kuko twabonye hari mitandukanirizo ni gihombo cy'ambere twagize tutari twabona ubwishingizi gye nabagenzi banje turi kumwe babahinzi nabandi basiga inyuma turabashimira cyane dushimira leta y'ubumwe dushimira abafatanya bikorwa guverinoma ya Suede turabashimye cyane kuko ubu ngubu nubwo hari ibibazo ariko tuzi uko niyo byaba twabona igishoro nabo twakongera kugenda amara masa kubera ubwishingizi nta magambo menshi cyane mfite yo kuvuga kuko icyari kimagaritse hano kwa rukubashimira nabandi basiga inyuma barabashima kubufatanye nabahinzi mudasiba kutugirira kugira ngo tubashe gutera imbere ndumva nasoza nsaba abagenzi banje kuba amera amashyi menshi mu izina rya abagenzi bacu tutazanye murakoza cyane thank you so much for uh, for sharing your experience on this national insurance uh, scheme i think it's truly important that this is something that uh, each country needs to put in place, uh, not at least when it comes to agriculture and uh, food security. Uh, Sweden, we, we, we are partners with uh, Rwanda when it comes to development cooperation. Uh, we started our partnerships in, in 1997, just a few years after the genocide against the Tutsis, foremost in, in peace building and standing side by side with Rwanda when it comes to its reconciliation process. But uh, nowadays we also expand our partnerships. We work together in, when it comes to democracy, rule of law, uh, gender equality, uh, economic development, uh, but also uh, climate change. And I am, it's a privilege for me being the Minister of Development Cooperation to actually be able to come here to you, your beautiful country and uh, to see what we can do together as partners. And actually, before I became a Minister of International Development Cooperation, I 
I spent a long uh, time in, in being a parliamentarian in the parliament. So for seven years I was the chairman for the Committee on Environment and Agriculture. So I know how important it is uh, that we can safeguard uh, and build food security, livelihoods, and continue to develop, develop as, uh, as persons, but also as countries when it comes to the agriculture sector, uh, as uh, in the times when we all, when it's, when it also are facing uh, the effects of climate change. So uh, um, thank you very much for sharing how you are working uh, with this program. I think it's very important, and thank you to the government of. Rwanda and, and uh, to uh, every partner in this project. I think it's uh, really important that this is set up as, and, and, and it's something that uh, each farmer needs, uh, not only Rwanda, because I can say we need it in Sweden as well, but in Sweden the agriculture se sector is only 3%, but farmers in Sweden, they also suffer from drought in summer and flood and heavy rains. Uh, other uh, in the winter time, for example. So climate change affects us all, and it's important that uh, countries like Sweden uh, can be partners with countries like Rwanda and working together, finding new so solutions uh, to safeguard food security. And to uh, round up, uh, the pandemic has showed us uh, that. Uh, uh, food security is more important than ever, uh, fighting poverty for example. So being farmers, farmers it's a crucial uh, job and uh, efforts that you are doing uh, securing food and development for yourself and for your country. So thank you very much for what you are doing and thank you for sharing. Mura Kose Kanye. Ichona shika zavandi rahi nzi wataraja murubu gishi njizi na washishika za kujamo kuwela kwenye mayuko tujie mo tukwa hue nichi za nune wina maku mnyaviri nyu mayuko tujamo gishi njizi tukwa abonye ugishi njizi bara tukishu ye tuwasha kwenjira guhinga tutonje ugulisha matungo ya alimu rugo tukwa tukwa washe kwenjira kujira ho mbezi tukwa sansu gishi njizi alugu fashabu gambere kumuhinzi Iyo giye mu bwishingizi uhinga utekanye naho wabona hari ibiri kugenda binduka mu buhinzi ugira umutima ukomeye ukuvuga ko hari abakuri inyuma kandi ushyigikiwe Mbere yuko tujya mu bwishingizi twahuraga nibiza ibiza by'uburwa by'uburwaye ibiza by'urubura umuhinzi utarajya mu bwishingizi eh aracyafite ibibazo kuko uko nakubwiye ko twahombye Burundi Nitwa agira cyo tubaza turahomba zero kugera kuri zero ariko aho tugiriye mu bwishingizi urumva ntabwo duhomba burundu hari cyo tugarura mu mufuka kandi icyo leta ukangura mbaga badukoreye batubwiraga ko ari ukugira ngo dusubire mu mirima tuzongere guhinga nkuko ari abahinzi baba bahuye nibiza bwa mbere bagahita bagenda ntibagaruke mu mirima Nibura umuhinzi ntagenda yahuye n'ikiza ntagenda utwo dufaranga dukiya tubonetse tumufasha gusubira mu murimo